Hi everybody and welcome back to Cook and Share. This is episode one in our slow cooker series and today we're going to show you how to make up a slow cooker roast pork. It's really easy. You just slip everything in one pot, turn it on low, walk away for eight hours, come back and you've got a super tender and delicious roast pork. Plus we're going to show you how to get two meals out of it. So let's get started. So let's get started by making the rub. So what I'm going to do first is add some olive oil to a mixing bowl, followed by some dried rosemary, the dried sage, thyme leaves, some salt, ground black pepper, and the crushed garlic. So I'm just going to give this a stir until everything is nicely combined. This makes enough for about a three pound roast. Now if you've got a bigger roast you can simply double it up. Next what we're going to do is place our roast into a container or bowl. Place about two thirds of the rub over the top. And I'm going to use my hands, making sure they're clean of course, and I'm going to rub the mixture into every little nook and cranny of the roast. Next, I'm going to flip the roast over to the fatty side. And I'm going to take my knife and trim off some of the excess fat. You want to leave a little, but not too much. Okay, now we'll pour over the rest of the rub and finish massaging it into the meat. So what I have here is a five liter slow cooker and I'm going to place the pork roast in. Followed by the potatoes that I peeled and cut in half and we're just going to place these nicely around the roast. Followed by the onions that I've cut into quarters and we're just going to place these between the potatoes. Followed by the baby carrots. Now I like these simply because they're convenient and they've got a nice taste, but you can use regular carrots cut into large chunks if you wish. Next what I'm going to do is add in about a cup and a half of water. Place the lid on. So you've got a couple of options here. You can slip the liner in the fridge overnight and get up the next morning and put it on before you go to work. But in my case here, I'm going to slip it in the crock pot, turn it on low and let it cook for eight hours. So I'll show you what it looks like in eight hours. Now this is after about six hours and I just want to give you a sneak peek of what it looks like. So you can see that everything is about oh, three quarters of the way done. The vegetables are just beginning to tender up and that incredible aroma has just filled the whole house. After a couple more hours, everything is nicely cooked and tender. So we're just going to remove the roast. This is exactly the way it should be. There's no cutting involved. So what you're going to do is simply take your fork and shred it and it's just going to fall apart automatically. And you can just see that. It is just so incredibly tender. I usually get two meals out of my slow cooker pork roast. The first is after it's immediately taken out of the crock pot and you just take that incredibly tender meat and combine it with the potatoes and carrots on the side. With any roast, you usually have leftovers, so the second night I have crock pot pork subs. So what I do to make these is simply take a sub bun and slice it in half. Take that incredibly tender shredded pork and lay it over the top. Followed by the sauce. Now you can just use barbecue sauce, but we have our own secret sauce and it's all there on the blog. And of course we'll put a link below. Some shred, some mozzarella. You can also use cheddar or any of your all time favorite cheese. Pop the top on and slip them in the microwave for about one minute. 
After a minute, we're just going to slice them in half. So I'm just going to give this a taste test. And this is incredible. It's tender and has a really nice sweetness from the sauce. And there you have it, our tender and delicious crockpot subs. So that was episode one in our slow cooker series. I hope you give these a try because you're really going to love that roast in these subs. Stay tuned because we're going to try and release a slow cooker video every Wednesday or Thursday. And remember to head on over to cookandshare.com for more easy recipes. Remember to click to subscribe and like our videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.